everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares and today we are going to be doing a speed build. I'm going to be doing a beachside camper van area and I'm also going to work on all the way down this beach, fill it up with some things. I used to hate working on beaches but now I kind of love them so I thought this would be a good opportunity to use the new custom designs with the camper van using the stools behind them and see how it looks so let's get into it um, hopefully it will look all right on the rocks this is where I decided to place it and I'm going for the blue color so that we can kind of get a coastal kind of vibe going on and lots of surfboards things like that it's a bit different to what I normally do um but we'll give it a go and see how it looks it kind of giving me inspiration for what I want to do for my next island but we'll keep that a secret maybe you'll get some ideas um and here you are watching me fail at trying to put the standees in place I had a lot of issues I'm not sure whether it was just because I was on the rocks or whether it was just because it was me but I decided to use the left and the right ones with the flowers so that they kind of created a border effect. And then here is the door to the caravan, which is super cute as well. As you can see, lots and lots of difficulties here. I really am starting to think it was just me. And then I tried to put the stool down afterwards, which didn't work. The rock pool positions on this rock were just a bit awkward and um, so I had to do it this way and then rotating them just caused problems but we did get there in the end don't worry ta-da done as you can see I put the diner sofa out the front just to give it the idea that that was the front of the camper van and then I decided to put the lighthouse behind just so there's something to break up up the skyline because we can't use trees here unfortunately but I thought it looked pretty cute I like how it's just sticking out over the top I did think about putting stuff on the stools so you could see them through the camper van but then I kind of decided against it and then I started working on the right of the rock I thought I wanted to get some foliage down to break up the blue and the grey and we went with a barrel as well and I'm just looking for something to put on top of the barrel as well and getting some custom designs down on the rocks just to give them a bit of added detail I went for the puddle as well just to give the idea that something splashed up and then looking for the surfboard just to go out front wasn't sure where to put this but we went for in the middle instead and then a telescope just so you could do some stargazing just looking for more items here I do try and lay them out just so I can actually see them instead of just dropping them I find it kind of makes it a bit easier if I know what I want to use and then we've just put the rattan black basket on top of the log stool up there and then here we go working on the beach campsite area I just wanted to get the position right before I started putting down the path as you can see failed at that and just trying to make a circle just so that we can then put the tent on top so it's kind of half sticking on half not and I went with the white one just to keep with the neutral colors just edging up the positions there just to make sure we get it right and just deciding what to do next sometimes it can take a while I decided to use the cooler from the fishing tourney so I'm just gonna tournament even I should use a full word um, and we're just messing around with the campfire there um, As you will see throughout the video there is a lot of kind of playing and messing around seeing which kind of fits best in which areas I'm trying to get the fresh cooler down here now just to make sure that it looks all right but I like the contrast with the light blue with the bright blue I was going to put a kind of campfire area here and we did toy with that idea for quite a while 
before I change my mind. Um, I'm just putting down some flowers just so they stunt there and you can see the greenery just poking up which I find really really cute for beaches. I've used the pansies and the cosmos just because those two are my favourite. And here we are just customising the futon. I went for a really really cute blue floral print to go in the middle of the futon just to complement the blue on the camper van and I thought it was really vintage looking. I will put the description in the code for you guys in the I will put the code in the description for you guys. Sorry. I messed that up there. Adding some more little details here. We've got the sliders out in front of the tent. And we went for some cushions as well. I'd already custom designed a Zen cushion and wanted to put the pillow on top. As you can see, I went for a grey gingham style with the same blue floral print on top. Again, just adding some custom designs on the floor. I like to use the daisies. Um, I think they work really well. There is a lot of customizations that I do throughout my builds, so I find it super handy to have the DIY table next to me and a lot of custom custom design kits on me. It makes it so much easier. Definitely a tip that I would recommend. Just messing around with the placement here. I remember I wasn't too happy with this area as I was working on it. There will be some more changes to come to it. As you can see, the pansies, wasn't a fan of that being there. And I wanted just a bit more space. Unfortunately, the beach on this side is quite um, quite narrow, so it made it quite hard. It would have been nicer if it was a bit wider, so we could have fitted a bit more in. But hey, just making what's use of what's there. As you can see, we put the log stool down with the mum's candle, and then I moved the cushions just because we just had enough space to fit them in there. A key thing about this was making sure that we could walk everywhere. It wasn't always a straight thorough, straight way through, but we managed to do it. And here I am just admiring a snapping turtle. I definitely wanted to use this in my build, but I wasn't sure about where to put it. Obviously, if you do want to place it down, it will just turn into a normal turtle and it will look super cute. We finally decided where to put it and just gave him a little rotate just so we could get the best angle on him. I decided to change up the Cosmos that I originally placed just because otherwise it would be the two Cosmos on the same line which throws me off. I like to have things unsymmetrical, not matching and we went with the sandcastle as well. This sandcastle bothers me because it's blue but it doesn't match the colour of the sand but I still wanted to use it purely just for the blue flag. And then I decided that because the campsite area didn't work up the top I was going to move down here and do it where I had a bit more space. So there is the campfire cookware in there and then just looking for some wood benches to use because we want quite a rustic area where you'd feel like people would just chill out and you have a barbecue etc so this is what we've gone for i've mixed it up with the wild log bench and just a normal log bench as well and the ukulele i thought was quite fitting and i decided to go for the old books because i thought that felt more beachy than the normal customization on them and whilst we were there I customised a beach towel which I just placed down just so that I could come back to it later. I went for that really cute looking blue stripe. Again it had quite a vintage feel, something that would remind me of kind of deck chairs and things like that. Just adding in some more custom designs and some more plants here. I changed up the design on the ironwood low table just to give it a bit more of a rustic look. The other one was just a tad too dark. 
I'm just trying to find what fits here. I know the kettle, I really like this kettle. It's one of my favorite items and it normally does feature heavily in all of my builds. So it's super cute. And if anyone doesn't like it, I'm sorry, but I just think it belongs everywhere. Everyone needs a cup of tea or a coffee on hand at any one time. So that's part of my thinking of that. I had a real play around here because I had trouble deciding where to put the books. I did put them here on the right. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out because there was no way to get into the area, which is quite important. And I'm just finding something else to fit on here. It didn't quite work. So a lot of just playing around, deciding where to put things. And in all honesty, I think that is the best way to decorate in this game. Just try and find a way to figure out what works for you and what looks kind of cute. We took the ukulele off the bench in the end and just put it on the sand. I thought that looks better and just adding a shell stool as well. And instead of having the ukulele on the bench, we have the tape deck, which looks really cute. I love that light colored, creamy kind of style. And then the stack of books got a little move as well. Thought I would just add some fencing just to break up the area. And then here we are over here just focusing on the towel area. I wanted to create somewhere where if you're on holiday, you want to relax. So that's what we went for with the book, the wide brim store, straw hat. And then I just customized the stool just so it was a bit more fitting again with a nice blue pattern. And I think we went with the candle on top of it. Yes, we did. And just a little plant to finish off the area. Then we had a bit of a conundrum, wasn't sure what to do with this area. So we just filled it in with some custom designs and a shell and then it came clear we needed a palm tree. So I dug the hole and then run across my island to get some palm trees. Well, just the one palm tree. I've never seen my character run like that before. <laughs> hey there we go um and replanted the coconut so we won't forget about it because i have a habit of doing that stealing things from other areas on my island and then forgetting about it and being like where's that gone a few days later so we put it down i didn't quite like that spot so i moved it and we put it a bit over to the left just so it kind of sticks out of the edge of the camping the camping area the cooking area and we dropped a coconut just because just because we can. So I'd like to just keep an eye on what we're building, having a look around, making sure everything looks okay. As you can see, that's what I was doing. And then I wanted to do something just to the left of the campsite because it needed something to flow into it. I was going to put trees down there and then I toyed with the idea of doing a little waterfall and I was kind of in between for a long time, hence why there's a bit of it going back and forth. And then I changed my mind about that cushion as well because I found the alarm clock that I got out, which is a perfect blue to match the camper van. Just working on some cliffs here. I didn't complete the whole cliff. I just wanted it for a snapshot because otherwise we would have been here all day and the video would be super long. So we just do a little cliff just to give an idea. It will stay this way, but I just haven't completed the whole of the cliff. And then here's me getting all excited because I found my first green mum. So if you're going through the process of growing a certain hybrid flower, then you'll know how happy I was when I found this. So just gave it a good old water to make sure we get some more. So I did try and put the tree down here and I wasn't really a big fan of it. 
because what I wanted to do was a little mini wraparound waterfall. So we tested that out and then we pretty soon decided that the tree wasn't going to work. So we got rid of it. And then onto the terraforming, as you can see, this is how you create a wraparound waterfall, something really cute and something that I like to use just on the corners of things and it's just super easy to do once you know how. And so for this area I needed some flowers so we went off to get some white flowers and then I decided that what this area was going to be was a little washing area so we did some decorating here, just stuck some flowers down, some custom designs and then we worked on putting a path down as well. Again, just the normal dirt one that I like to use. I wanted it in kind of a, an irregular circle shape. Again, some more flowers and then washing line and then I realized we only had one what I like to do with my washing lines as you'll see is put two down together so here's my inventory just trying to see if I've got one unfortunately we didn't but I grabbed some other bits and we crafted um, a just a simple washing line and I also totally forget what it takes to make things I always have to check and we needed a wash tub as well so what I did was I customized the clothesline so it had some of the blue in just to tie it in a bit more and again we went with that blue stripe color there we go and then I wasn't sure what to do here it felt like there was a bit of space we could fit something in so I got some custom designs down and I decided there was going to be a perfect place for a bicycle I love that it's on the diagonal diagonal just moving about some flowers here and decided that that was the perfect spot for a duck that's pretty much all that I use softwood for. If anyone else has something cute to make with softwood, please let me know because all I can make is ducks and I have so much of it that definitely needs using. And then I was a bit stuck here. So I put down a tree and just some other little bits. I thought maybe this was just a little bit too big as I wasn't sure what else was going to fill it. So I decided to put some more flowers and then we went for, while I figure out what I'm doing, there we go. I didn't realize how long it takes me to do things. Um, so yeah, so sorry, we went for a little lace rug over here. One of the circular ones, something that I use a lot on my island. And we just made a little like reading nook with some magazines that I had. I had the rack already and I thought that the white and the blue really went with this area. It's something that I don't use all that much, but it is a nice addition and I definitely want to use it more. We went with our blue floral cushion and I wanted to use the lost item. It was just a matter of trying to find a way to make it fit on the rug, hence why things are getting moved around left, right and centre. But we did it eventually. Just raiding my collection of flowers and bushes. As you can see, there is a lot on my island. Again, I need to get rid of some. Rest in peace, shovel. These are my favourite bushes at the minute. I'm not sure why, but I like the colour of the green on them. And the leaves, they're not too detailed like the um, 
the ones that people use to make look like blueberry bushes and grapes and things. So yeah, that's one of my favorites at the minute. So guys, here it is. Here is the finished product. This is our camper van up here. As I said before, stools are behind and then we've used the custom designs, the diner sofa, and just put some items down over on the right. And then I wanted to show you this in golden hour. So this is 5 p.m. and it looks lovely and kind of cozy. So this is why I'm showing it to you now. And then we've got a little beach tent over here with some futon and some other little bits which kind of fit in. And then we've got a little beach relaxing area with the beach towel which has been customized to that blue stripe pattern that I talked about. And then we've got the candle on top of the wood stool. Obviously the wide brim straw hat, I'm not totally, okay, I'm totally obsessed with it. <laughs> I was gonna try and say I'm not obsessed with it, but yeah, I am. Um, and then just down the beach here, we come to a little campfire where we've got the campfire cookware, some books, just some stuff to chill and listen to some music, play the ukulele, have yourself a coffee. And yeah, really, really happy with it. Lots of just plants and custom designs on the beach itself. Mr. Turtle over here chilling. And then over here, just to tie in the area a bit more, I've done a little seating area on the lace rug with the magazine rack and the washing area as well. As I said before, I will need to obviously fill out this area, work on that cliff a bit more, make it a bit bigger. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to see how you guys use the camper van designs. I've seen so many already and they are truly gorgeous. So that's the end of the video and please, if you've not already, remember to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I know it's boring when people say it, but it does mean a lot to me. Um, so I am full. So have a lovely day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.